Hello, my country people. How on a day? I greet on according to our time. This is Morin GCV. My people, my people, lo, hmm. not be small thing, no. Tenibu, Mata, and then Peter will be Mata. Now I say, make a come touch light this evening. Yes, yeah, so my people, the one way be say, they rain now for us, be say. Then say, Tenibu, no get, uh, no go primary school, you no go secondary school. Say, you no get certificate. But Tinibu come and say, in go school for America, in go degree for Chicago University for um, uh, for America. Now, according to the, the serious one, we say they come, they put for a head. And I don't say, during say, Baba time, we be Buari. Buari no get certificate. Now, so then talk this thing, talk this thing, no, before you know. We no see Buari certificate. Now, this matter don't come for Tinibu. They say Tinibu. Um, they give a form make you fee for INEC. The column where they're supposed to put primary and secondary school, Tinibu no put. Tinibu no go primary and secondary school. Now, what did they talk allegedly? My people, make I read this thing before I go touch light the whole thing. Make it not be like say Maureen, because as far as I'm concerned, this 2023 election, my people, more could remove sentiment, more could remove tribe, more could just use our church mind. Vote for competent and when it be say, it go rule this country where. No be matter of whether the person na Ibo, whether na Yoruba or whether na Ausa, any competent candidate among these three people. Make una use una church mind, vote for the person. So according to a report, they say, Bola Tinibu, the presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, has allegedly told Electoral Commission, INEC, that he didn't, he didn't attend primary and secondary school. The former Lagos governor, however, allegedly claimed he had two degrees from two American universities, which he, further state, which he further stated had been stolen by unknown soldier during the military junta of the 1990s. When I know say that time when military day, he get the time when he say, Tinubu borrow leg run leave Nigeria because of say, in day against military rule. For me, I want to make military even take over because this is where democracy they do. I don't understand. This time during military time, you know, be like this looting no day. Make I continue. The disclosure came in an affidavit submitted by Mr. Tinibu to the electoral office as part of his eligibility feelings for the 2023 presidential elections. The documents released on Friday show. Mr. Tinibu left the column for his primary and secondary education unmarked, but he said he obtained a degree in business and administration in 1979, apparently referring to his previous claim of attending the Chicago State University. I went on self exile from October 1994 to October 1998. When I returned, I discovered that all my property, including all the documents relating to my qualifications and my certificate in respect of paragraph degree, the para, okay, paragraph three above, were looted by unknown persons. My house was a target of a series of search by various security agents from the time the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria was forced to adjourn following the military takeover of the government in 17th November 1993. I was the chairman of the State Committee on Appropriation, Banking and Finance. I was also a plaintiff in one of the two suits against the interim national government in 1993. I went into Enzyme when it became clear to me that my life was in danger. Mr. Sinubu said in his claim, the electoral law mandates can uh, the electoral law mandates candidates to submit their personal credentials that we enable that will be published for public scrutiny ahead of election. So my people are waiting to Nibu now, waiting to Nibu talk. Somebody, somebody call right say the truth for this is that he knows that his his true age will be reviewed from the primary 
from the primary school certificate. Therefore, he deliberately refused to fill the page. Somebody said, you are making sense. I agree with you. So people say, Tini Book, get primary um, primary, uh, primary school certificate and secondary school certificate. Say, Tini Book purposely hide them. You don't want to disclose them so that people don't go know in actual years. When I don't say, people say, Tinibu dot senior Tinibu by age, allegedly according to waiting day for for Gogo Mona go check and by said before I go say Maureen don't come. So another person said to my own opinion, Bola Ahmed Tinibu was once a senator and a two term governor. I believe the cre I believe the credential he used for those two elections can still make him to qualify for the presidential for the pre presidential election. So don't distract Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Let him forge ahead of his ambition and I wish him success. Another, another person talk. Another person say, no, I disagree with you. Another person say, the certificate he used when he served as Senate and Governor should be published. Things should be done right. All right. Another person, when he be say, talk about this whole thing. Now, Reno Mockery. Reno Mockery, don't call the mock. Tinubu, he thought say Tinubu they lie because of his age. Say Naimi can hide in, in, in primary and secondary school certificate. How person no go go primary school, no go go secondary school, he can't enter university. How? What if they enter the university? They say make you go bring the certificate. Or if he be say he get certificate, people where them with Tinubu go school, maybe they come and say, ah, this is now our classmate. We now know all those kind of things. Now nine people they talk. Meanwhile, hmm. Igbo as uh, Igbo youth they don't blow hot to the same uh, Peter Obi has the constitutional right as a bona fide citizen of Nigeria to run for any political office of his choice. Saying the threat may attract one, according to them. They say people don't threaten, say they won't delete Peter Obi. Say they won't delete Peter Obi, say Peter Obi a threat to them. Say Ibo man, which day Ibo man don't start to do politics. So the Ibo man, they dream of to become president. Now the Ibo youth, they say, hey, this thing no go be the way that they see him. Say if they try him, say Peter will be get every right to contest for president. He gets every right. They born and for Nigeria, he be Nigeria citizen. Say so, he has every right. Say any attempt to say they want to delete Peter will be say because of. Um, the way people they support and say they they, they, they feel threatened, say war go day this country. Make I read. Daily Post report reports that the coalition of Southeast youth leaders has won against alleged plan by some terrorists to assassinate the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. A statement issued on Saturday by the president, president general of the coalition, Good Luck Ibe, Good Luck Ibe. Alleged that some terrorists told their kidnapped victim, who were freed recently, that they have concluded plans to assassinate Obi over his decision to run for the presidency in 2023, saying Obi is a threat. Replying to this to this threat, the coalition of Igbo youth said Peter Obi has the constitutional right as a bona fide citizen of Nigeria. To run for the for any political office of his choice, saying the threat may attract war, the statement read in part: Nobody should think that he or she has a monopoly over of violence. That we are peaceful does not mean that we are weak or senseless. Peter Obi is an is a bona fide citizen of Federal Republic of Nigeria, and born in Nigeria has the constitutional rights. To contest for any political office he deemed fit, and nobody can stop that. Anyone who thinks he wants to attack Peter B is sick, and the sickness will be treated appropriately right at the right time. Only a wicked and idiotic person will be comfortable with the current, uh, the current state of nation. Our country is in their need of a drastic change that will turn things for good and some people are plotting to make matter worse because of their selfish agenda we want the criminals to know that even a madman in 
is owned by some people and if you touch him thinking that a madman roaming on the street he has nobody his free owner will come out to defend him we we call on the security agency to mainly move into action and arrest the real criminal plotting to assassinate mr peter will be just because he is contesting for office of the president which is eminently qualified to do so enough is enough all right so my people now waiting the Igbo you to the don't blow her to my people this country now cruise though, i don't understand is it okay now if some people feel say they don't want to make Igbo man rule this country may they put man allow the Igbos because they are very free they are very the Igbos are ready to leave this country and go and form their own country to go and take care of themselves you know, go talk say they no go rule. You no go want to no. You no work. Oh. My people make I read from the comment section. What thing people feel about this whole thing? And so somebody say we are not coward like you people. After all, we once fought it for nearly three years, and we are still very much populated than your coward tribe. And hmm, now what? Well, what I don't start for. Group better go filter the comments so that I no go read the one that they take correct. Do we still need some kind of prophet to tell us whom the terrorists and kidnapper are working for? That is to show that if some of these presidential candidates are elected, are elected, kidnapping and terrorism will continue from the assassination threat. It is now clear that the only enemy of this kidnapper and terrorists are the only person that will be threat. Um, will be threats to them is Mr. Peter will be so if you want an end to kidnapping and terrorists vote for Peter will be now they say so my people know how I say this whole matter somebody say not a time to talk carelessly let's be more patriotic in all our reasoning contribution to national issue rather than aggravating any all right so my people know hmm. Oh, this country, eh? Oh, she over help us. So. My people, oh, make we go get on our um, on our PVC, oh, make we vote at all the nyama nyama government, oh. All right, my people, what wanna think about this whole gist? Gonna leave on a comment for comment section. Wanna have a nice day. Bye.